Hey everyone, Anastasia here. So I've seen many videos that promise you just by watching YouTube videos you can make money super fast, some even claim they made almost $60 in just 10 minutes. Sounds wild, right? Well, I'm going to try and follow the steps and see how it goes. Especially because in a lot of these videos they mention doing something on Pinterest. And I happen to have published over 150 videos on my channel with Pinterest marketing tips. So I kind of know the Pinterest platform inside and out, and it would be interesting to see if this can really work. So here's what they tell us to do. First, I need to start by exploring trending videos on YouTube. They all suggested using VDQ, so open the link in the description below and start a free account. Once you do that, you can download the free VDIQ Chrome extension. And uh, make sure that the extension is enabled and pinned in your browser like this. Once you do that, go back to YouTube and you will see this VDIQ blue icon over here. The first thing that I have to do is click on the most viewed option and the free account uh, will show you the trending videos for the past seven days. And just to let you know, the free version of VDIQ works just fine for this tutorial, but it is a great tool. And if you're thinking of being a serious YouTuber, kind of like me, you can do extensive keyword research for your videos. You can get keyword suggestions daily. And I even get an AI coaching from VDIQ with ideas and recommendations specifically for my channel. But for now, all we need is just free Chrome extension and we can find some popular video ideas like this one. So what we need to do now here is to check out most viewed, uh, focusing on views per hour and you can pick from the past seven days. And we're talking here about videos with millions of views, something like Mr. Beast size. Well, in the past seven days, it seems like this video with over 373,000 views called My Daughter Survives World's Strictest Parents on Jordan, uh, Jordan Matters channel. We want to pick the most viral videos only, so let's stick to this one for now. Now here's a twist. The videos that we're following today, they all say that you'll be making money by watching videos, but really, you are not the one watching the videos. Instead, your job is to attract other users to watch these viral videos. The idea, since these videos are already going viral, people do like them, so it should be easy to get more views for them. And your role is just to help boost their views and get paid for it. Next, all of them suggested that we need to use the thumbnail from the viral video which kind of makes sense because on YouTube this image helps the video get viral, so there must be something in this image that makes people click. On the next step, they suggest that we use YouTube thumbnailgrabber.com, I'll give you a link to it um, in the description below, and you can download the thumbnail. Well, that's easy, just submit the URL of the video here and download the image in the best resolution. Then let's head over to the platform that I use daily, it's canva.com, and you can sign up for free if you never used it. What we will do here is create a vertical image with a custom size. If you're typing something like just the word Pinterest, you will find two typical pin sizes. One is a bit taller, and I actually recommend you to go with this one. It's 1080 pixels wide and 1920 pixels tall. Now, you can simply drag in the thumbnail that you downloaded from YouTube. And next, we will work on adding some catchy elements and headlines. Our goal is to make sure that this image is irresistible. I always recommend placing the important text overlay in the top part of, of the pin because that's what people will see first when they're scrolling on Pinterest and that will help them understand why they should click on that pin. So first up, add a shape to work as a background for our text. And we will stick to this pink color because it's a good match for this topic. And in general, keep in mind that on Pinterest, you will get predominantly female audience. So use colors and graphics that are appealing for women. Next, we will add a text element using a heading style. And we usually need to increase the font quite a lot to make it readable on Pinterest. I think that we can easily go up to 100. 
and I don't like to use these serif fonts because they're also not so easy to read on a screen. So let's change it to this Leek Spartan font. We don't want a long text here. In fact, it should be short to allow us to use this large and bold font readable on mobile devices. Now, check out these numbers. The majority of Pinterest users are on mobile devices. And when you're new, you should always check how your pins look on a mobile phone. By the way, if you find these golden nuggets and tips based on my six years of experience marketing on Pinterest helpful, then don't hesitate to give me a like now. It motivates me to share even more insights like these in my videos. Also, I have a whole playlist dedicated to Pinterest, and I will link it for you up there if you want to learn more about growing on this platform. But let's get back to editing our pin image. I didn't waste much time and I just used the text that they had in the video title. You see, if you just keep the text, all the text the same, it looks boring. So you can click on effects and add this background color uh, to the most important part of your text. And you can obviously change the color. In my case, yellow color looks great here. Now, to make it clear, this is a link to a video. Uh, click on elements and search for YouTube icon here. And Canva has actually many options, so drag the one that looks best on your design. And if you're happy with your pin, then just click share, then download, and then copy your pin in the best quality. And I would say I would suggest using a PNG format for this. Save this image as we will need it on the next step. Let's now head over to Pinterest. Create an account if you are new to this platform. It's free and it takes just a few seconds to start an account. Then you can start pinning. How? Use this create a pin button. And by the way, if you don't have any boards on your profile, it might be helpful to create a board first called maybe something like viral videos. And um, you can save your first pin here. For the pin title, you can use the same text that they had in the video title and you can use something that they had in the video description or just generate it with some AI text generator. I'm really trying to make this work, so I will even optimize the spin for SEO in the title and description, and I will add a few related keywords. So to find a few related keywords, you can submit the main focus keyword, which I think here would be strict parenting. And if you have a free Chrome extension from Surfer, I will give you a link, by the way, in the description below, and you can get a bunch of related popular keywords. See here, we have keywords like parenting style with over 27,000 monthly search volume and a few others. Now you can copy them and add them to the pin description. And here, AI text generation from a tool, for example, like ChatGPT can save you a lot of time. Just give a prompt like, make a pin description of up to 500 characters for a viral ironic video on Jordan Matters YouTube channel about the strictest parents, add keywords like parenting style, authoritative parenting, and so on. Let's see what ChatGPT generates for me. Well, it looks good overall, quite long, but sounds natural. And I will see if I need to make it a bit shorter for Pinterest when I pa paste it there. And one thing is for sure, I will want to delete these hashtags because um, they're useless on this platform and they can be even considered a spammy method. By the way, if you want to dive deeper into Pinterest marketing and learn how to generate free traffic from this platform, you can watch my free masterclass. I'll give you a link up there and also in the description below. And that's where we potentially should start earning money. Following the recommended steps, we should go now to the site shrinkme.io and this site allows you to create short links to these viral videos. You have to register an account on this site before you start creating the short links. Otherwise, you won't get any credit for these links. So you will need to set up a free account and choose your payment method. And by the way, you've got plenty of options. And if we check here, proof of payments, we will see that they paid out recently. And I believe this should work globally because they even have options like pay year, uh, PayPal payouts, crypto coins, and many other options. And you can see here that they pay up to $22 per 1000 video views in some countries, but for the United States audience, it's around $11. Once you created the account, 
Just go to settings right away and set your withdrawal method. It can be just your PayPal email or your phone number for other methods. Next, what we need to do here is copy that YouTube video link and shrink it on this side. Take this new link here and submit it to the destination URL on your Pinterest pin. Oh, wait a second. Pinterest is showing me this error message. Looks like it is one of those link, sh link shorteners that Pinterest has spotted as often leading to spam. So you cannot add this link. This is quite common with link shorteners and I guess after a few viral YouTube videos on this topic, maybe Pinterest noticed that these particular links could go to sites that people didn't want to see. So what do we do now? Okay, so I double-checked the steps for this method and the guy suggested a workaround using another link shortener called Linktree that will link to this shrinked link. Well, I can do that, no problem. If you use a free account on Linktree, then you can create this link, but it will, know, uh, it will not do an instant redirect, so users will land on your Linktree page first. That's why it is important to give a clear, correct title to this link so that users can easily identify that they're coming from Pinterest to this particular viral video. In our case, I'll say it's for the strict parenting viral video. Now we will try to save this pin with a link tree short link and we will see if it works. Yes, Pinterest saved this pin successfully and I can click through from this link and I will go to my link tree page obviously and from here I can click on the shrinked link. I really want to give this method a chance so I don't expect the money to show up in my account magically in just 10 minutes. So I will give this pin about three to four days to sit on my Pinterest account and then we will see the earnings that I've got. And we will see if this method is worth your time and effort. So I'll see you in a few days. Okay, it's been at least three full days since I published the pin. So let's open my shrink me account and let's see how much money I made. Who knows, maybe I'm already a millionaire and I didn't know about it for the past three days. Okay, so I will log into my account and we will see that I made exactly zero dollars, zero cents. Why? Not even one click or a view? Let me check the stats even better. Let me check the stats for every day. Really, not even one click registered. Interesting, um, because I see here a warning that just two days ago uh, this platform made an update to their terms of service and now you cannot use anything that hides the traffic source. Meaning that these links that we created on Linktree, they probably, which they kind of worked as a bridge between the platform, the Pinterest platform and this shrink me site, probably these links are doing exactly this. So I suppose that they don't track any clicks that come, come from my Linktree link. But I want to see if there were any clicks registered actually on my Pinterest account. So let's check the detailed pin stats. And it looks like that I've got some outgoing clicks from Pinterest, but remember again that we sent people to the Linktree page first. So either not many of these people have clicked from Linktree to, this, uh, to watch the video, or maybe this shrink me site just doesn't count those clicks. Now I want to see what happens when users do click on this and if they really try to watch the video, what happens. Mm, so I need to click on a bunch of buttons and go through several different sites full of ads before the video actually opens on another tab. So yeah, basically they make it almost impossible for users to watch the video and uh, for us to make any money with it. So it is true that I can create a pin like this in about 10 minutes, but if the users have to go through that many weird sites before they manage to open the video, it looks like someone else is making money in the process by showing the users a bunch of ads, but I'm not seeing how I could make a lot of money sending visitors from my Pinterest account to these weird sites. I think my 10 minutes would be better spent if I created a pin and linked it to something of my own. I could be sending users to my blog, where I have premium ad management company Mediavine that is paying me, by the way, 
actually more than $20 per thousand of visitors from Pinterest. I can show you my Mediavine dashboard and the RPM revenue per thousand of visitors on Pinterest is even better than for Google SEO traffic. If you don't have a website yet, you could still send users from Pinterest to your own offers or maybe to affiliate products and you could even use the same Linktree page and add links to it to some digital products in your niche like maybe an ebook or whatever it might be. So if you want to learn how I use Pinterest to get over 80,000 a month visitors to my website for free, I will link for you a link to that video up there and I'll see you in that next video.